Kelly and welcome back to Bob and Kelly's Martini Monday. We are mixing up a brand new martini for you guys every single Monday this year. Yay, year's almost over. It is almost over. Yeah, so it's time for holidays. It's November. November. I can't believe it's November already. I know, it went so Can fast. You? No, this, this year just gone by. Like, like that. that. Exactly. Crazy oh, pants. How was that again? Love like that. that. Nice. Alright, cool. So, November, at least in the United States. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. And what do you think about Thanksgiving when you think of Thanksgiving? Dessert. Of course. You don't think about turkey. No. We're not making a turkey martini. No. You don't think about cranberry. We're not making a cranberry martini. Or a ham. Or, ooh, ham martini. That'd be something. Put a little bacon in it. Uh, we're doing dessert martinis for November. Yeah, yeah. dessert martinis. So this, though, no, get your turkey on. And then when you after you take your nap, Get yourself up and get you a dessert martini. Get some dessert. Eat it with your pie. It's the best part. I think you mm -hmm. should eat dessert first and then the rest later. I agree. Yeah. So what are we going to make today? Today we are making a creme brulee martini. Creme brulee martini. You and John had this on our last cruise to Norway. Yes. If you haven't seen those vlogs, check it out. Shameless plug. Yeah. Um, yeah, this was one of John's favorite martinis um, on their staycation cruise too. Right. The creme brulee martini. So we mixed it up just a little bit differently um, from the recipe that we found. Right. So this is, you know, Bob and Kelly Bob spin. Bob and Kelly spin. Always. Yeah. So, so we got to do that. Let's get going. Right on. So here we're going to do, this is going to be simple. This is going to be four, two, two, and two. Check out this tiny little baby, baby Baileys. Little baby Baileys. Super cute. I know. It's like... Mmm, smells good. I love Bailey's. So we're gonna go with four ounces of Bailey's Bailey's Irish Cream. Bailey's. There's two. Okay. And so comment below what your favorite Thanksgiving dessert is. Four. We're gonna be doing some pretty classic Thanksgiving type right. desserts here. Yep. Uh, you need some vanilla vodka. Okay, in case you don't know what creme brulee is. Because there are people out there who probably don't yeah, know Yeah, it it's is. kind of a, like a custard. It's a flavored custard, mm -hmm. usually vanilla, chocolate, or raspberry. Right. I've never had a raspberry creme brulee. I have. Have you? Yes, oh. I've had a berry creme brulee We before. had a really good, like, um, chili creme brulee once. Red chili creme brulee. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, our friend, the chef, told us how to make it, and it yeah, was, like, was really good. amazing. Yeah, that was really good. Amazing. So, vanilla vodka, this is going to be a vanilla creme brulee. Yes. But... If you know what you do, you put sugar on the top of your custard after it's really nice and cold, and then you use a blowtorch to brulee the to sugar. Yeah, cook the sugar. Kind of caramelizes the sugar, so yeah. we need caramel flavor. Right. Which butterscotch is a really good imitator of yeah. caramel. So we're gonna do two ounces of butterscotch schnapps. Schnapps. Right. Yeah, so the brulee on the top, those of you guys know that love your creme brulee, mm. it makes a really nice crust on the top and you gotta take the back of your spoon and whack it. Yeah, it breaks it that's and then the you mix it in part. with your little custard yeah. so it gives a little crunch. Yeah, that's the most makes fun Makes it a little good, yeah. so it's yummy, yummy. So, so far right we got four ounces of Bailey's, two ounces of vanilla vodka. Vanilla. Two ounces of butterscotch schnapps and two ounces of white chocolate liqueur. Okay, so, so we're this is Godiva. Godiva white chocolate liqueur. It's fancy. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping we have enough. Okay, good. We have enough. We're getting kind of skinny on. Yeah, we're getting kind of skinny on the white chocolate liqueur. So there we go. We got all that, and now we're gonna have ice in my shaker already. Okay. Pour it onto the ice. We're gonna shake it up. Shake it up till it's nice and cold, and Kelly's already got. Yeah. In the meantime, I have pre-prepared our glasses. They look like these. So what we did is we took some of the creme brulee sugar that we did this morning, and we put it in our coffee blender. Yep. So they're nice and ground up. So it just makes really pretty, nice rim on the yep. glasses. And, then and you want to shake it till it gets nice and cold. Yeah. Ooh, and it's frothy too. We have froth. Frothy. We have froth. You know we love a good froth. We have froth. Yes, I love a nice froth. And then we're gonna have to strain. Okay. Strain because there's ice. That's right. You don't want big old ice chunks in there. Pour in equal amounts. Okay. Oh, it looks delicious. This looks exactly like the one on the. Does cruise. it? Yes. Hmm. It smells good too. So here, if you're doing creme brulee, this is our custard. Okay. Yes, that would be the custard. This would be the custard part. <laughs> We'll call it liquid custard. Yeah. And then what we did um, to make our little dust as well, we made some brulee sugar this morning, just in a pan, sugar, Heat it up, a little bit of water. Heat it up with a little so bit of water. So it gets nice and amber. And we made some soup 
super fancy, like twills. Can you or see that? Floss. Or floss. So you just take your little spoon and like. How was that again? Do you want it across? I don't care. You do it. You're the. You're the. Let's do this it. This is yours. Across the top, like this, for our photos. That looks cool. That's awesome. So when we get through it, the, yeah, show them. Show them good. Look at that. Wait. Look at that. See how yummy. Look how pretty that is. It's awesome. That's gorgeous. Okie dokie. Now we've got the work done. We kind of have like a, a drink and a, a snack almost. I, well, I'm going to do Are what I'm going to do. You're going to put this inside. I'm going to put it right in. Okay. Like this. I'm going to break it a little bit. Shame to break that. It's so pretty. I just broke mine. Yeah, look at that. So, <laughs> she's very proud of her work. I okay. am very proud As of my work. As you can tell, Kelly did though, so she's very proud of them. All right. I'm. I'm come on, come on. Okay, let's, let's try it. I want to drink. Okay, let's drink. Cheers. Cheers. Happy November. Happy November. Mmm. That's good. It's very Bailey's forward. It is. It's, you really get the Bailey's. But mm -hmm. you know, if you like Bailey's, this is gonna be a good one for mm -hmm. you. But what I like is a little caramel on it because that gives it the sweetness. Right. And you can chunk that up in there, I guess, if you want to. I feel like I'm like grazing on the caramel. <laughs> oh, there. There we go. You know I how you do it. that, right? Grazing? Mm hmm. I just got it messy. I'm taking a bite of the caramel and then the drink of the. And I'm like, oh, my God. How was that? Mm. I, can, oh, I can't God. taste much of the butterscotch. Can you? No, that's why I'm doing the caramel. Oh, okay. So how does this one compare to the one you had on the ship? It's better. It's better? It's better. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like this one better because it's a little sweeter. Mm. If it, the other one wasn't, you know, because I know there wasn't butterscotch in it, and I know they didn't have the glass rimmed with caramel either. No, it was kind of plain. It was very plain. The one that you had. But it was a good one. You could taste the chocolate. You could taste the vanilla. I, I even would, like that. I would drink, yes, that's pretty. See the little, like... Man, she is really impressed with her. I am impressed with my sugar work. Okay? Her sugar work, she is like a sugar queen now. <laughs> but I do, I like the sugar dust around the rim. Because mm -hmm. it's that really sugar. It's really weird though, the sugar dust, when you get wet, it just kind of like automatically, it turns kind of like candy. Mm -hmm. And it solidifies and it goes right out and it glues to the rim. It does. It glues. But it kind of gives it a little texture to the drink too, which it, is yeah. nice. It's like I get... A good this is a very nice way to start our November. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. this is a good one. I like it. Look how much I've drank already. Oh my god! I know you're like I'm like gobbling it down. Gobble, <laughs> gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> All right, cool. As always, uh, I will post a recipe at the end of this video. If you guys want to make this drink, if you do, let us know. And if you do make it, let us know how you like it. What I just said. Did you? Uh huh. Oh okay. You're too busy with your face and your drink. Also, don't forget to let us know what your favorite Thanksgiving dessert is. Right. Too. Right. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. What's the magic words? Uh, thanks for watching. Yes. <laughs> if you haven't done this already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It really does help us out a bunch. Um, hit the notification bell so that you bing, do know bing, when bing. we post. And give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed our video. Yeah. And we will see you guys next week with another awesome. Another dessert awesome dessert martini. martini. Yes, we will. Okay. You guys have a great day. Happy Monday. Take care. Love you. Bye-bye.